Welcome. Today I want to talk to you about care packages in Modern Warfare 3. All right. So normally, care packages require you to accumulate a four-point streak without dying to earn one. When you call in a care package, it will produce one random kill streak. Although the kill streak is random, it's random in the sense that you don't know exactly what it's going to be. But it's not entirely random because each of the kill streaks have a different chance of dropping. The kill streaks are weighted so that low kill streaks will appear commonly while the higher kill streaks appear rarely. Let's take a look at what's inside a care package. I have personally cataloged the contents of 1000 care packages and drawn up the results on this chart. Now this list is not 100% accurate as with 1000 care packages I've probably made a few errors when cataloging them, but for the most part it should be pretty accurate. The first column on the left displays how many care packages resulted in the following kill streak. The second column on the left shows how many kills are required to earn that kill streak normally. Now I'm going to estimate the percentage chance of each kill streak appearing. Starting from the bottom, I got 10 Osprey Gunners out of 1,000 care packages, so I'll assume Osprey Gunners have a 1% chance of appearing. I got 11 Juggernauts. In previous Call of Duty games, care packages typically use solid numbers for their percentages and do not have decimals in their drop charts. I'm going to assume this is also true for Modern Warfare 3's care packages. 11 is close to 10, and Juggernaut is a pretty high kill streak like the Osprey, so I'm going to borrow 1 from the 11 and put it down here at the bottom to make Juggernaut 1% as well. I earned 20 AC-130s, so that would be 2% on the drop chart. 22 Pave Lows, which is close to 20. And since it's a 12 kill streak like the AC-130, I'm going to borrow 2 from there and round it down to 2% on the drop chart. Assault Drones, I earned 32 of them. I'm going to round 32 down to 30, putting the remainder at the bottom and making Assault Drones 3%. AH-6 Overwatch, I got a solid 30 of them, making it 3% on the drop table. Reapers. Ah oh, yes, Reapers. I got 28 of them, so I'm going to round it up to 30 by adding 2 of the remainders. This will make Reapers 3% just like the Overwatch. Strafe runs were 51, which is probably 5% on the chart if I round it down. Although, I think it's odd that this 9 kill streak is 2% more than the other 9 kill streaks. I got 41 attack helicopters, which is 4% after rounding down. Precision airstrikes are 69, so I'll add 1 from the remainders to make it 7% on the chart. I'm going to skip to the UAV for just a moment and come back to those next three in just a sec. I got 102 UAVs. Chances are that's 10%, so I'll take the remaining two and put them down at the bottom. Now here's where it gets tricky. I have 194 IMSs, 193 sentry guns, and 197 predators. Since those numbers are all so close to each other, I'll bet that their percentage chance of dropping are the same. The problem is, I have to round them all down to 19% or round them all up to 20% since the percentage chance isn't going to contain decimals. I can't round them down to 19% because then I'll have remainders left and it wouldn't add up to 100% either. I have to use all of my remainders in order for the totals to balance out to 1000 care packages. My only other option is to round them up to 200 each but I can't do that either because I don't have enough remainders to add to those kill streaks. 194 IMSs plus 193 sentries plus 197 predators plus the remainder of 6 equals 590 care packages. I need 600 to divide among the 3 kill streaks to make them each 20%, but I need to make up 10 care packages first in order to do that. I was noticing earlier how unusual it is that the strafe run, a 9 kill streak, is 5%, when the attack helicopter, a 7 kill streak, is only 4%. Also, the other 9 kill streaks are each 3%. That doesn't seem right. I think it will be appropriate if I adjust the strafe run to 4% and make up the 10 care packages I need. Now I'll just use 3 remainders on the Predator, 7 on the Sentry, and the last 6 on the IMS. I now have a chart that adds up to 1000 care packages and 100%. This is my estimate of the probabilities for killstreaks in a care package. Now let's analyze. To start off, UAV only has a 10% chance of appearing. Care package is a 4 kill streak, so that means there is a 90% chance that your 4 kill streak care package will turn into a 5 kill streak or greater. While that's great and all, also notice that IMSs, sentries, and predators make up 60% of your care package drops. This means that more than half of your care packages will be one of these three kill streaks. If you include UAV, 
which is less than a 4 kill streak, this figure increases to 70%. Precision airstrikes have a 7% chance of appearing. Attack helicopters and strafe runs each have a 4% chance of appearing. Remember, this chart is not 100% accurate. It's quite possible that strafe runs could actually be 3% and attack helicopters 5%. Actually, it would make more sense, wouldn't it? I think that's more accurate. Alright, so I believe attack helicopters are 5%, while the Strafe Run, Reaper, AH-6 Overwatch, and Assault Drone are 3% each. Pavlo and AC-130 each have a 2% chance of appearing, while the Juggernaut and Osprey Gunner each have a 1% chance of appearing. This is my best guess at the contents of a care package. This chart is for normal care packages only, and does not apply to Escort Airdrop packages, Osprey Gunner packages, or Drop Zone packages. Osprey Gunner might use this same chart, but I'm certain that Escort Airdrops and Drop Zone packages both use different charts. Thanks for watching, and please don't forget to rate this video.